Now I want to talk about the NGO, I want to talk about the organizations. I want to talk about all this fundraising. So when I was in Africa, I used to hear about, you know, TBN. I actually watched TBN. I watched Joyce Meyer, I watched Benny Him, and I watched all these ministers. And they normally bring food to Africa. That I won't deny. But how many children re really do these, you know, arms and these fundraisers reach? How many child has access to the food and the clothing that these, that these NGOs bring to Africa? Secondly, Many of these organizations are making profit out of the African child, claiming that they are sponsoring a girl child education, claiming they are supporting human rights, and claiming they are supporting all manner of rights for the African child and the African heritage. But we do not see nothing. The common African child, the child in Lagos, I mean the child in Lagos, Nigeria right now, hawking pure water, has not benefited from this organization. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Where is this money that is contributed for the African child going to? Where are these funds? Where are these resources? Who is this NGO enriching their pockets and enriching themselves? Someone has to give account for all the money spent. Someone has to give account for all the fundraising. An individual can go on, you know, GoFundMe or Indiegogo, you could name it, and begin a campaign to help an African child. And after beginning that campaign, you see people pour their heart because they see the demise in Africa. But where does this money go to? I really want the world to open up her voice to speak for an African child. These were the, these were the things that Martin Luther King Jr. stood for. And the life of Nelson Mandela, our government has failed us. The African government has failed us. The Nigerian government has failed the African child. The African child is put into hunger. The African child is dying of all manner of disease. You know? And no one cares. You know, at the time, you would think the church would be at the front line to help the African child. You would think the church would be the first to open her doors, you know, to enrich the African child. But no, even the church herself has become corrupt, more corrupt, and has filled the African child. But we thank God for those who are speaking up. And my intent is not to call out anyone on these social medias or on the internet. But my interest is that the children after me, the black child after me, will be proud to be a black child again. I will have the freedom and will have the right as a white child to walk and to live and to get a sound education.